I am the contrarian and this is my world. So we are back and you've seen what happened with our subjects with Rajat. But right now, it's really important. Three does not make an entire country and obviously not the world. So I'm going to start off with the first thing. Experience, interesting. Like you said, a week is obviously not enough, right? Okay, now let's find out from you. How long is it actually before a person can start feeling the difference? If I go for, let's say, a five-kilometer run every single day, but I wear shoes, how many days before I can be trained to go for a five-kilometer run bare feet? I would say two to three, uh, three months at least. Two to, oh, that, that's it? Two yeah. to three months I can yeah. be trained to do that? Yeah. And I will not have cuts and blisters and I won't be coming to you <laughs> as a patient rather than a client? So again, you need to use some technology there. So if you use your eyes and see if there are no glasses around. Is this relevant for a country like India? Uh, yes and no. I mean, you know, you have to pick your right places. So it's tricky. It's not going to work in every place. Okay, so let me find out from you. Mm. Do you run bare feet? Yes, I do. Completely bare feet? As in, do you use minimalistic shoes? Are you, are you, a, are you a purist or are you a I, semi-purist? My, my religion is running. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not a particular type of shoe. So basically, I could be wearing the hookahs that we were talking about earlier, the two and a half inches. I'll come to that it. also. I want to understand that. Yeah. And then there's something called Newton. Newtons are like, you know, spikes. They have spikes in right in front. And it's not spikes. Like, there still is rubber in front. Any random day, whichever shoe is sitting in front for me, I would actually pick them. I'll be wearing those and running. Because you think you've perfected your technique, so Very it doesn't happy. matter? Yeah. So you're basically claiming to everybody you have the perfect running technique for bare feet shoes? Bare feet? Yes, that's what I would say. All the clients that come to you hmm. to be trained for running hmm. from casual runners, from people who want to be better runners, from people that can't run, to people who are being trained to be professional runners. Mm. Do you tell every single client to go bare feet? Not completely convert. So what I would say is as a therapy, you know, if they could be doing two to five minutes at least of at least bare feet walking to start off with. Again, this walking would gradually becoming longer uh, as well as the running part could happen. So I understand walking is not the same thing as running as far as the uh, technique goes, biomechanics go. But it's a good enough start. One of the other things that happened last week that completely yeah. shocked me, and we had a lot of mail on that, yeah. was you said out here that if you're running with shoes and then you become the perfect barefoot runner, you may or may not, but in all probability, there's no difference in your performance, right? A lot of people wrote in saying, how is that possible? Aren't I using both energy as well as slowing down because every single time I lift my foot, with shoes on, I'm taking the weight of the shoe and the cushioning with me. So I should be, I mean, theoretically speaking, I should be faster. 300 grams of lesser weight being lifted by me every mm. time, mm. 20,000 times in a run. Mm. Why will I not be faster? Cushioning helps, you know, move obviously a little faster. It is compromising on the technique though. So, you know, we need to appreciate when actually the call... So cushioning helps you move faster? It is giving you a cushioning. Cushion is a cushion, right? I mean, it is giving you a little bit of a bounce for sure it is. Uh, but it is making you a better runner when you are bare feet. So I'm not saying you race bare feet. I, I, th I said that earlier as well. It's completely fine to be using shoes, but fix your running actually bare feet. It helps. Having said that, is bare feet for everyone? Not necessarily. This is where the whole sports shoe industry started. Yeah. Thicker cushion, thicker cushion, mm. more air, mm. more gel, more this, more that, helium. I don't know what all they put into it. Yeah. They're literally flying in your shoes yeah. now. Yeah. But aren't you now becoming the same? I mean, you're also no. becoming a slave no. To just fads. No, I'm not. These all sound like fads to yeah. me. I'm so sorry. no, I'm not. So uh, Newton, I wear very often the ones that I'm actually talking about here. What it does is if someone's not able to, as simple as it may sound, hey, fix your technique. The dude hasn't done that for the last 40 years. He does not know how to do it. So unless I'm with him all the time telling each step, hey, do this, you'll be surprised. Most of them cannot understand when I say he lands soft on your heel. If you're actually throwing out sport shoes, yeah. but giving in to gimmicks, which is better? It's a scam when people are buying the more expensive shoes, it's better. They just went by the price. So the whole study was done based on price of the shoe. And they said, if you're buying a moderate price shoe, and good, when the study was doing, done, they were talking about the moderate being like a three to 4,000 rupee shoe. Uh, and the expensive ones being like a, you know, $100, uh, or, or slightly more. So shoes which are 10 to 15,000 rupees, saying those being the expensive gimmicky shoes. Mm -hmm. And they said, effectively, the shoes which are moderately priced are just good for you. Forget about what they put in it, which brand it is. So, which was an amazing learning. Bare feet running is not for everyone. Who is yeah. it not right for? So, as we were talking about the weight, so body weight is an interesting one. So, if someone's heavier, 
hasn't run before. To someone like that, I want to give a shoe which is a little bit more cushioned, saying the support for the knee and hip is a lot more of even. But for again, that. in show one, you said running bare feet is better for your knees and your joints. So now this is again Body a contradiction. Weight. No, it's not. So it's since you asked who is it not for. So heavier weight or who has been very sedentary does not look natural when they run and all that stuff. It's a good idea. Get them moving. I'm going to do another quick fire with yeah. you. If you have bad knees that have been diagnosed, that you have truly bad knees, still good for you? Okay, Where now what, what is really bad? So, I'm a doctor, right? Um, but most of my colleagues have been saying running is bad for you. Running causes knee injuries. Running okay, now that's the classic argument saying why even run? Yeah. Okay, yeah. walking is so much better. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it is gentler. Yeah. gives you the same impact and everything. It gives you the same effect on your body. Yeah. So, so, this is the whole different argument. No, but so, can I get it answered? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But the point really is, as I was saying, and probably it was the previous episode, where you know the martial artist is hitting the wall. Initially, he will have these micro fractures and trauma and whatever. But eventually, it will keep getting stronger and stronger. It does heal over a period of time. If somebody has truly some... bad knees, he may not have that time no, hold on, left. Hold on, hold on. So okay. what, what tends to happen is, they are talking about, you know, hey, did running cause it kind of a thing? Right. And then, you know, should you carry on? The point is, if you were to, we need to understand what is a knee. Knees are not a stable joint. It's an unstable joint right. by design. It's just two bones right. or three sitting on like, uh, top Correct. of each other like that. The muscles, the quads, go from higher up and cross the knee and go below. Hamstrings start from the butt and go below mm. the knee. Calf starts from above the knee. So there's a lot of cross, uh, you know, crossover happening at the knee. Okay. Once you start correcting the muscle balances, you'll be surprised half of those knee pains just disappear by muscle correction. That comes by you know, proper technique while you're doing your uh, squats and stuff like that, using your glutes more. So it's not running caused it. What about the flat feet? Makes no difference. In fact, your technique may become better. It will. Right? If yeah. you actually run bare feet yeah. rather than wearing a controlled yeah. shoe and all of these other things. If everybody out there who's watching this show right yeah. now was to ask you for a starting advice, yeah. what is the first thing you ask, are going to ask them if they want to take off that shoe? Yeah. And as this show gets over, yeah. every one of them will take their shoe off and start yeah. running barefoot. What do they do for the first First thing that Yeah, so again, uh, very amazing research, research that's come out. Effectively, when you just put your foot down and you just, without your sock as well, you're just doing this little toe curling movement. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to raise your arch like that. Okay. And when the arch is being raised repetitively over that day, you know, so I'm saying 25 repetitions, four times a day, 100 they are. And if you do it over four weeks, your arch will get stronger, it'll become higher as well, and you, this will change even your running technique, as simple so as... This is the first that. thing they all really should start should doing, start. and the second is go for a run for maybe a few hundred yards only it's a good barefoot. Start. It's a good start. It's a good start. start. Yeah. All right, so we will come to know when we get hate mail or fan <laughs> mail eight to ten weeks later, but do remember, if this is something you want to do, do it under controlled <laughs> environments, do it under... Somebody that actually has some yeah. professional knowledge yeah. on this, don't just start running out on that road, taking your shoe off and then coming and beating me up with that shoe. We'll see you next week on The Contrary. And thank you so much. Thanks. Sir. This is my world.